few days ago I was fishing a match down here on the University of York campus lake which is actually a private fishing lake with a very small club that operates on it. As I was fishing this match a guy came up and had a chat with me as they often do and he was telling me about one of the small ornamental ponds not too far away and he was describing loads of small silverfish that seemed to be right on the top. I could obviously take a guess at what these were but today I'm down we're going to try and find this pond and we're going to find out exactly what these fish were. The University of York campus lakes are absolutely full of wildlife. Most famous are probably the birds, the geese, the ducks, the swans, which are absolutely numerous. You probably hear them all in the background right now. But there are also some nice fish in the lakes here. I saw some carp spawning round on one of the banks, um, and there's a really nice mirror in there. And I've also just seen some of the bream spawning as well. So I won't be fishing down here for a little while whilst they all get that out of their system, and then we can come and catch some more at a later date. Well the pond I'm looking for I think is the other side of this bridge so I'm just going to walk over and see if we can find anything. Oh look there's more bream all on the top there. Wow loads of them all shoaled up. Anyway let's go find this pond. Well, we're here. You can see the pool just behind me. There's a little fountain bubbling away. There's reeds all down one side and it looks really idyllic. I've already seen quite a few fish on the top. There's definitely some perch all cruising around. There's quite a lot of silver fish in here as well. I can't work out whether they're roach or eyed at the minute. Some have red eyes, some have silver eyes. So I'm gonna go for a combination of each. I'm gonna walk around the other side and see if we can get a better look. Well, there are absolutely hundreds of them round on this side, all taking off the surface. I'm not sure what they're eating. I brought a little bit of bread with me, so I'm gonna have a go at feeding that and see if they'll, you know, take that. I've also got my GoPro, so I'm gonna stick that in the water, see if we can get some really great underwater footage. I feel the perch will be absolutely no problem at all, but I know these roach and eyed are gonna be really spooky, so we'll have to see what we can do. After dropping the camera in and scaring absolutely everything away, the perch are the first to drift back. I got some really nice underwater footage of them, just hanging out, having a little look around, and doing a little bit of feeding on the surface. Eventually, after a little while, some of the silverfish, the roach and the eyed, did come back, although they were incredibly fast and it was very, very difficult to capture any good footage of them. I did get a few good shots of them taking some bread as it sunk slowly through the water, but it was incredibly tough. Well, it's pretty interesting to speculate how those fish got into there, and I have a couple of theories. The first is they were directly stocked to eat the mosquito larvae that would have been numerous in that pond without any natural predators. The second is they were in the main lake. I know from speaking to some matchmen that there used to be a really good head of silverfish in the main lake. There are a couple of channels that lead into that pond, so they could have swam into there during a flood or something like that. Well just behind me is one of the side channels that leads to that pond and it's really quite impressive to think that the fish could have swam up here from the main lake. Today it's only a few inches deep so I don't think they'll be entering or leaving any time soon. Roach are one of those fish that anglers seem to either absolutely adore and are really into or see them as a bit of a nuisance small pest fish. I'm in the category where I think they're absolutely brilliant. I would happily catch them all day long. Whilst there are no fish of any particular size in that pond, who knows, one day they may grow into some proper monsters and work their way back into the main lake where hopefully I can catch one or two of them if I'm lucky. Well, I could have stayed there and watched those fish literally all day, but I do have some other things to do today. So unfortunately, after about an hour, I'm going to drag myself away and back to my desk. I hope you enjoyed this little video and seeing some really amazing roach, eyed and a couple of perch. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, leave a comment, all that kind of thing. Maybe I'll do some little fishing but not fishing videos again in the future if you enjoy them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.